What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be continuing our tear on the rank regulation F ladder, but this time showcasing Iron Crown. Now I showcased Iron Crown on the casual ladder a couple weeks ago when the Indigo Disc first came out, but now we're sitting here with rank being viable, bringing you guys a top tier meta team featuring Iron Crown. Now Iron Crown is a great expanded force Pokemon, so we're going to be pairing it up with Indeedee today. Indeed, you can set that Psychic Surge, have Iron Crown go off, and just do some massive damage with Expanding Force. Iron Crown also has its brand new move, Tachyon Cutter, which hits twice and is both stat. We also have Terror Blast and Protect for its final two moves, Rock and Cork Drive, and the Booster Energy as its item and ability. Like we mentioned, we have Indeedee on the seam, and Indeedee is great to pair up with Iron Crown. It's also great for Sport and Counter Trick Room, just look at its moveset. We got Tornadus on Steam, still a great support Pokemon for Regulation F. You can get speed, you can get weather control, you can still do damage with this thing. Tornadus is top tier. We're pairing up Tornadus with Urshfu today. If we want to set the rain, we can do big damage with that Pokemon. And then we also have Chiyu on the team. Great special attacker, can hit really hard, but it also has Snarl to lower special attack. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Landers. Now this Landers in this form is taking over the meta. It has a high usage rate and everybody is using this Pokemon. It's got Sheer Force, with the Life Orb, Rock and Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Sand Seer Storm, and Protect. I'm telling you guys, this Pokemon's a real deal. Be prepared for them. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, we got the rental code in the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. If you guys have been watching my Regulation F content and my rank battles, you guys know I was 6-0 in both those videos. Killing it, absolutely lighting up, but I did try to hop into our first match for today's video, and our opponent disconnected before turn 1 even went. So, we're now sitting 7-0, and we are ranked 1119. Pretty dope, but this team right here that we're using today, this little Iron Crown team, was made by my boy Clover Bells. Huge shout out to him, we'll be linking his channel down in the description below, alongside with the Pokey Pace. So if you guys want to go check it out, be my guest. But when we finished off recording going 6-0, we were actually ranked, I think, 922, somewhere around there. But since I was offline for a little bit, it actually dropped the rank to like 1,500. But now with our opponent disconnecting in our first match, we go 7-0 and uh, we're at 11, what was it, 1152? Somewhere around there, 1120 we'll say. It's whatever, but we got to win this first match. Keep our terror alive. We're going up against a walking wake squad with no regulation F Pokemon besides walking wake. If you want to consider them regulation F, but um, they got iron hands, Landorus for intimidates, walking wake, like we mentioned, Fluttermane, Tornadus, and Rolling. Now I could just go straight into this terrain, right? Terrain's not bad with iron crown and Indeedee, And I think that's our best bet, right? I think that's a really good play. They have no way of terrain control. They could set up a tailwind. That is definitely an option, but I think going into both of them are going to be great. Now for back end Pokemon, I do like Urshfu just for first turn priority. That's not too shabby, but I also like a Pokemon like Landers. Landers can deal with the Rillaboom. It can deal with other Pokemon such as the Iron Hands. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go Landers late game alongside with either Urshifu or Chiyu. And from here, I'm kind of leaning towards Chiyu just because Focus Ash is so good. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to go in straight with the Iron Crown combo. Do they have any really ways of countering that? They have no Dark type Pokemon, which is lovely. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we're going to lock an Iron Crown. We're going to lock an Indeedee. I think they're probably going to lead something along the lines of like Tordatus. Could be their lead. So we'll see. We'll see. But looking to go 8 0. We're now 7 0. You guys didn't get to see the opponent disconnect. I was going to leave it in the video, but I really don't want to waste your guys' time with that. But they end up going into these two. So probably Choice Scarf, right? Probably, most likely Choice Scarf. They can set up Tailwind, they intimidate me, no problem. Um, do I Helping Hand? Do I Helping Hand? I could pop Trick Room. I could, I could pop Trick Room. I'm gonna Quirk Drive though and boost my special deck. I could pop Trick Room if I think they're gonna pop a Tailwind. That is an option. And to be honest, I might even Terrasilize, because that, that the ground moves just not looking good for me. So you know what? I'm going to pop a Trick Room. I'm going to Terrasilize, and I'm going to pop an Expanding Force. The reason I want Terrasilize is a ground move coming into Iron Crown. Just not looking good, right? It's just not looking good. I love the Steel typing, but just not looking good. So we're going to Water Terror here. We're going to pop Trick Room in hopes of popping Tailwind, because that could be... Mwah, that could be beautiful. That could be really pretty. So I'm going to pop the Trick Room. 
if we need to counter Trick Room, we can always just stop it, but Trick Room should be pretty good, especially with our fast team. And again, we're going to hope for the tail here, too. The outcome's just a bleak windstorm, so he's just going to attack. He shows that he does outspeed us, too, which is great. So they get a speed drop. That's great. And a double speed drop. So we're popping Trick Room, which is lovely. And the EQ's flying. So this is exactly why we Terrastalized. So my Iron Crown can soak this up. And that's exactly what he does. So Iron Crown soaks up. We get the speed drops. I eat a berry. I'm going to pop a Trick Room. And I'm going to expand the force up. Expand the force pouncing through here. Big time damage to get things started here. Big time damage. We get rid of the Lando. We're popping Trick Room now. My Pokemon are really slow. I can always go helping hand and just expanding force out. As long as they don't go into anybody, I was going to say anybody with first time priority, but we have the psychic train locked down for that. It's huge. It's huge. And they got the speed drop on us, which was perfect. We set up everything perfectly. The terror was perfect. The trick room was perfect, but they're going to end up going into real boom here. Now real boom takes away the terrain. Kind of annoying. I might protect and swap the indeed here, which is probably my best bet just to take the terrain control. And go into a Pokemon like Chiyu. Or do we go into Landers here? Because they're definitely bleak when storming, right? I'm going to save my Focus Ash. I'm going to swap into you. I'm going to swap into you. I'm just going to protect this guy right here. He's probably going for that Grassy Glide. So I'm going to swap in DD. I'm going to bring Terrain back next turn. And then I'm going to just keep attacking, right? <clears throat> That's the plan. That's the plan. The protect comes out from the Iron Crown. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. They could fake me out as well. He just goes for the Grass Guide in this slot. And I should have swapped in Shiyu. What a good call from our end. From their end, at least. Leakman Storm's going to fly. And can he dodge this, Lando? I would love to have you for another turn. You don't, so you're dead. Wow, so we just sacrificed him over here. Shiyu would have been a better swap. But now from here, we're going to pop another Expanded Force. We're going to swap into Indeedee. I want terrain control back. I want it back. Right here, right now. Now, what's your speed, Iron Crown? 144 with a speed drop. You should... Ah, uh, you should be slower. I'm gonna hope you're slower. If not, that's tough. Now I bring back out Indeedee. We get the terrain back. And I might just follow me just in case. Instead of helping in, I'm gonna follow me just in case. Yep, I'm popping follow me just in case. Then they end up withdrawing this Pokemon right here. They're wasting out Trick Room turns too, and they're gonna go into Fluttermane, right? This Fluttermane? The Fluttermane's gonna take a nice chunk of damage here. Follow Me comes out here just in case. I should have helping hand, but this should be fine. This Iron Crown's gonna finish you off, and he's gonna do some big time damage to you. Beautiful. Beautiful. So they get the terrain back for these final turns. Um, Trick Room's still out and about, so if I just go into. Follow me here. I think we could be good. We gotta see how many turns are left in, in Trick Room. Because Trick Room's helping us out. We still have Chiyu with the Sash, which is gorgeous. And we have two turns left in Trick Room. So I could just protect this turn. Do I just protect or do I just go follow me? And take Spanning Force. Might just wanna, hmm, cause they're gonna go Dazzling Gleam into like the grass move. They're going Dazzling Gleam into the grass move, so you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna go follow me and go for Attack Young Cutter. Let's see how this one plays out here. The damn Terrastalizing. Okay, I see you, I understand. And they're gonna Terrastalize Rillaboom. So Rillaboom comes out here with the Terror type, going straight grass. I have Chiyu in the back end. Really, really good, especially with Focus Ash. So if I could just get rid of this, this, what's it called? This Fluttermane will be sick good. We to Rastalize, he goes for the Grass Guide. That's going to KO the Indeed, correct? But now from here, Tachyon Cutter should go before Fluttermane. Right, am I correct on that? I am correct on that. It's a good thing he attacked and followed me. Instead of worrying about the fake out. We get rid of you, and now I get to bring out Chiyu with Focus Ash. So we sacrifice our Landorus early on here. Great plays from our opponent, but everything seems to be working out as long as we don't miss some shots here. 
right? Heat Wave should just be able to finish this off, especially with Focus Ash. Definitely best bet. So we're hoping for accuracy. We're not allowed to miss it. We are not allowed to miss it. We are not allowed to miss it. So Heat Wave coming in hot here. 90 accuracy. Yo, don't, don't do me dirty. And we will go into... We'll actually do more. Will Tachyon Cutter actually do more? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm still going to go for Tachyon Cutter. Heat Wave Tachyon Cutter come out here. Tachyon Cutter goes first, and Tachyon Cutter might just KO. Oh my lord, Iron Crown, chill. Hitting like a truck, yo. Solid first match. Our opponent played really, really well, but I'm just on a tear. We're 8 0 in Regulation F. We are back in the top 1,000. 8 0 on the rank ladder. Come on, man. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the content. Like it up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are killing it. We're going up against 130. Rank 130, top tier team right here. Going to be a little tough. They have terrain control. That's always a problem. And they also have first turn priority Pokemons. Problem, 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 problem. This, this team actually looks phenomenal. They got plenty of different ways to counter. But one thing they don't really have to counter is going to be the rain. But at that point, they, they got Pokemon to counter rain Pokemon. They got Real Boom, they got Raging Bolt. First turn priority is crazy. I gotta bring in DD and Iron Crown. That's probably an absolute must, right? Do I lead them? Maybe. Maybe. I think we're gonna need to win the Psychic Terrain War, right? The Psychic Terrain War is just something we have to win. So I'm still gonna lead them. And I think from here, we might just wanna swap, hard swap, and DD late game, right? Because if they swap into like Real Boom. We can always just go into a Pokemon like Chiyu, which is pretty solid for us. So I'm going to do that. And my final Pokemon is going to be Landers, or do we go into Urshifu? I think Lando just has so many counters to a lot of these guys. We have to bring it. This one's going to be tough. This might be our first loss. I'd be very sad. I would definitely be very sad. 8 and 0. What a run. What a run. 130. Person Himmy Turner. I love the name. I love the name, but I'm here to play. Been playing so well. Don't, don't tell me, don't tell me this is our first loss. My perfect record goes out like that. My cartridge closed out and my perfect record goes out like that. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I am eight and zero on the rank ladder and my game card. Thank God I got this on recording. Thank the Lord I recorded that. That is just absurd. That is just absurd. I'm kind of upset at that. I'm really upset. But now we are hopping into our second match. Come on, man. I mean, you know, I'm I'm not counting that. I am. I refuse to count that. We are on an absolute tear. I am 8-0 in regulation F. I'm telling you guys right now. But we're going up against Whimsicott, Fluttermane, Walking Wake, Shen Pao and then Metagross and uh, what is that Pokemon? Entei. So Psychic Terrain is going to be our lead. Hands down, you can't go wrong with that. They got three Pokemon with first turn priority moves. I'm just not dealing with that. We're also going to bring in, I think maybe Tornadus could be good here, especially if they want to set the sun for Walking Wake or an Entei. And then bringing in Urshifu in the back end could be really, really good for us. So that is going to be my plays. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Number two, right? I've been having so many problems today. I started off recording where our opponent disconnected. We got a win. And then I won a match. And then I disconnected. I didn't even disconnect. My game cartridge closed. Come on, man. At least at least, at least disconnect me. Don't, don't make my game cartridge close. It like happens like one time to me every like 100 matches I play. It happens at the worst time. The worst time possible. But hey, we'll take that one on chin. They end up going... Fluttermane and Whimsicott. So I am going into these two. Um, I think we're fine with the with our Pokemon that we have out here. Um, hmm. Do I Terrasilize maybe? I might want to Terrasilize just to dodge the Shadow Ball. My right, Shadow Ball is looking scary. I could follow me the Shadow Ball, but I want to pop a Trick Room instead. So I'm gonna Trick Room and I'm gonna Terrasilize and just expand your Force. We're doing some big time damage with this. We're just gonna get attacked. Now the size, I'm gonna expand the force. They could be going for Tailwind. What else could they be doing? I would think Tailwind Shadow Ball would be the play, right? 
But that's why I popped the trick room instead. Because if they want to pop a tailwind, that could be good for us. And no, we just go straight for a moon blast. The moon blast attacks Misty. You rocking Misty terrain? That's a little crazy. Not gonna lie, that's a, that's a little crazy. Who does that? Who does that? That's fine, Trick Room is now here. That's a little odd. That is definitely a little odd. Don't like that one bit, but now I'm gonna swap in DD and I'm gonna go into Tornadus. Or I could just go into Urshifu. But if they're going Moonblast in that slot, I really don't want it. So I'm gonna go into you. And I am just gonna go track Tachyon Cutter right into the Flutter Main slot. That's a little absurd. You got Misty Terrain? What Flutter Main does that? Really cool though. Really cool. So I'm gonna swap the Indeedee just because I don't want to deal with first turn priority Pokemon, right? I'm gonna go into two Tornadas. Ends up withdrawing the Flutter Main Smart Play. And are you gonna go into Metagross? Most likely, right? There's a Metagross play. That's gonna be Shen Pao. So Shen Pao dies here, correct? Terrible swap on your end. Terrible swap on your end. Shen Pao's dead. Shen Pao's a goner. So we get rid of Shen Pao. We have Trick Room up. We might want to hard swap back into Indeedy here. Definitely an option. Definitely an option for us. But that was bad swap on our opponent's end. Just took that thing out. Moonblast's going to fly here. It's going to go into Iron Crown. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So depending on who they go into, I kind of just want to hard swap back into Indeedy. And then just start ripping. They're going to go into Flutter Mate again. Do we do that? Well, I could just go Bleak Wind Storm here. And Tachyon Cutter. Yeah, I mean, there's no point of us swapping, really. Let's just go Bleak Wind Storm and Tachyon Cutter in the slot. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Tachyon Cutter is going to come out here. We're going to say bye bye to Flutter Mate. And this match is looking pretty easy. So we would have been 9 and 0. Oh. I should be in the top 500. I should easily be in the top 500. It's absurd. It's absurd. Just lighting it up. Just lighting it up today. In regulation app. I, I, I have never played this good on the rank ladder. I'm just winning every match. Every match I touch, I've just been winning. We're hoping to have a 3-0 perfect record for you guys. But... This one was kind of easy for us. Once I once I straight up seen the what's it called? The uh, the first turn priority Pokemon's and no terrain control. I just thought indeed the Iron Crown would be perfect, but they did actually have terrain control, which is kind of funny. But I'm gonna hard swap into the terrain. Actually, no, I'm not. Actually, yes, I am. Just in case you want to rasalize normal and go for E speed, I'm just not dealing with that. I want the sweep, so I'm gonna hard swap into Ndidi. I'm gonna go into Terra Blast, and I think they just canceled, right? Yeah, battle was canceled. Two and zero for today's video. I hate looking at my record right now. Nine and one. We are nine and zero. We should be top five hundred in the master tier. It's so upsetting right now, but we're going into our third and final match for today's recording, and we're going up against a ooh ooh a rain slash psychic terrain team. Okay. Little, little annoying. I think Tailwind might be your play here. Maybe Tailwind with Urshifu. That could be good, but the only problem going on here is, oh my lord, this terrain. Like, they can really do me dirty. I could go into terrain of my own. If they want to go in Rain Squad, we could just pop Trick Room and kind of go that way. We do have the Water Terror type on the Iron Crown. So, Terra Blast in the Rain is good. I'm thinking of leading that and bringing Lando in the back end. I like Lando not up against the water types, but with its terror type, it's really, really good. But it looks like we kind of want to use it with Iron Crown. Urshfu, gonna be great. Love it all around. Um, and final Pokemon. I, I want to say Lando. I want to say Lando. If we can somehow save our terrain for that, that could be really good. Or we could just not bring in Didi. And in hopes that they bring it, right? That's not a bad call for me. I kind of like that. I'm going to second guess myself here. Might not work out, but I'm not going to bring Indeedee. I'm going to lead Iron Crown alongside with Tornadus here. Because if they bring Indeedee, then at that point, we can just take the upper hand, set the tailwind, and kind of go from there. But if they don't bring Indeedee, 
And if they set the rain, then we just set Tailwind, Terrasilize, or Iron Crown and kind of go after them from there. So we'll see what they want to do. And it's going to be Indeedee. Cool. So they get the terrain cooking. We get Iron Crown out here. We have Covert Cloak. Um, Caesar's looking a little annoying with the, with the seeds and all that. Not going to not gonna fib. Not going to fib. But it's definitely going to Terrasilize here. It's going to Unburden Pop, too. The real question is, do I Tailwind? Because that thing's going to get a special defense boost. Um, hmm. The poison moves can't hit my Steel type. I think Expanding Force is just a simple play, right? And I think I'm going to pop the Bleak Wind Storm on top of that. Just in case he wants to go into like a Trick Room kind of thing. But I'm trying to think what what moves does the Sneasel usually rock in. Fake Out... Close combat, dire claw, and usually coverage move, but I can't think of it. But I think I'm good not to rasslize because close combat says super effective. Dire claw that won't affect me. I think we're cool with this. I think we're cool with this. But they're gonna terrasilize turn one here. Maybe they go in the grass. Grass would be cool. Grass would be very cool. We got Bleak and Storm flying. And no rock. Oh. Oh, I don't like the rock terror. Please don't tell me you have a rock move. You rockin' rock slide? Don't tell me all that. Helping Wait, it. Are you you rockin' rock slide? Bro, my Tornadus is dead. No, my Tornadus lives. Oh, we, we love it. We love it. No flinches. No flinches allowed. Bleak Wind Storm missing? Who's it missing? Who dodged that? Okay, he dodged that. You really- Oh no, I flinched! I really flinched there. I'm gonna tailwind up. I'm gonna tailwind Tachyon Cutter that. I really flinched? Oh man, that's bad. That's a bad flinch. That's a bad flinch to take. That's a real bad flinch to take. Because Expanding Force probably maybe could have picked up the KO onto that. I know you have a special defense boost, but still. Iron Crown just hits hard, but that's a bad flinch to take. Tailwind comes out of your Iron Crown. Can you outspeed? You might not be able to outspeed that. Sneasler. Yeah, you don't. A little absurd. A little absurd because we die out to that. But Iron Crown's chilling here, ready to get ripped. But do not flinch me again. I'd be very upset. Because then I'd just be losing matches to some bogus. Tachyon Cutter comes out here. I'm going to say bye bye to you. So we get rid of the Sneasler. We get rid of Terra, which is pretty big. We do set up Tailwind, which is great. And we're hoping Indeedee's not popping Tailwind. I doubt it. Or not Tailwind, Trick Room. I doubt it. That'd be a great play if they do. That'd be a phenomenal play if they do. I have a feeling they are. Oh my lord, what a play. What a play. At least at least if we're gonna lose, it's gonna be to some somebody doing plays like that. Oh my lord, what a play. What a play. So we still have Terra. Um, do I bring out Urshifu here? I think we save our Urshifu. I think we go into you. Wow, yo, what a trick room play. What a play on the trick room. Just reading the tailwind. They end up going in Iron Crown themselves. Um, we can't Terrasilize. Now we're just sitting in a terrible position. Just a terrible position. They got us on lock here. So this will definitely be our first loss for Regulation F. That, that Trick Room play was just huge right there. They just made the big time read. Um, could Terrasilize? Wouldn't really do much. Tachyon Cutter into this slot. And if we could get off a Sand Seer Storm, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. But this is not looking good for us. Not looking good for us whatsoever. After that Trick Room play, if they did not pop Trick Room there, we would have been sitting in such a good position. But that play right there just changed the tides. It really did. Because just imagine they didn't pop Trick Room. We have speed control going forward. I could just start ripping. But from here, now they could just do this. They could just do this all day. They could just do this all day. And I don't think my Lando soaks that up. Yeah, see, my Lando doesn't soak it up. I knew my Iron Crown would, but Lando doesn't. Which is just a big time... Just bad play for us. But Tachyon Cutter's gonna come through here. It's not even gonna be able to pick up the KO. And of course, you got a Berry rocking. And yeah, that's that's gonna be game. The round of our pause to our opponent here. That is officially going to be our first loss here in Regulation F. Oh man. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. And I wonder if we didn't disconnect, if we would ever actually. We wouldn't have played this opponent. So everything's just not look good. It's not look good. Um. Let's see how many turns are left in Trick Room. We have two turns left in Tailwind, so I'm thinking we need to protect here. And we need to... 
protect here. Or do I terrasize attack? I'm gonna terrasize an attack. We go for a surge of strikes here. We might need to like land, do a little bit of double protect action here, but yeah, not looking good. We're gonna need a miracle. We need some RNG miracles, but we end up terrasalizing the Urshifu here. Let's see. Let's see. And we end up just protecting the Iron Crown. Follow me comes out. Smart little play. And expanded force gonna jump. Okay, so we blocked that. I think my actually Urshifu probably doesn't eat this up. Let's say I think Urshifu eats this up, but I doubt it. Yeah, no, dude, Iron Crown is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous, and that's the match right there. So, round of applause from our opponent. Great trick and play. It legit gave them the win. If they didn't trick them there, I think we take the win, but they made the right play at the right time, and they hand us our first L for Regulation F. So, guys, we finally take our first L on the rank Regulation F ladder. Very, very sad to actually say that, but I think we still killed it in today's video. Going 2-1, and one, picking up two wins, one loss, and we disconnected for an extra loss, which is really tough, but this team was phenomenal. I feel like we played really well in all three matches. Like I said, we won match number one, we won match number two, and we definitely would have won match number three if our opponent didn't make such a good move to pop that trick room, knowing that we were popping it down. So, our opponent earned that one. They definitely did. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.